a lot of people and I get followed a lot. Um, again, I keep it very professional. Yeah. And I understand there's a line that's blurred in, in today's world of when you're young and you want to branch out into the professional world, you're carrying sometimes some baggage that you got to be careful. The internet is very unforgiving. What you post does not go away. Exactly. It will be there forever, kept somewhere. So, you know, you hear this in the news um, all the time. Watch about the pictures that you post because once they're up, they're there. They're not coming down. Um, so your Facebook, you know, it, it's... You've got to be careful. It's very, very easy. It takes me two seconds to type in your name and Google you and find out a whole bunch of stuff about you, and you don't even know it. Exactly. exactly. So, you know, conversations you have on a lot of these social sites that come and go um, are still kept on the Internet. They are still there. I can find those conversations you've had um, with, you know, in relationships with friends, etc., um, that don't go away. People need to be very careful. The head of the legal department had a little in-house seminar, he, and he said to us, he said, I want you to understand one thing and one thing only if you leave this two-hour presentation and remember nothing except this. If you send somebody an email and you put something in writing, it is as good as a legal contract. Hmm. Be, so be very careful about what you put in email because it might as well be on company letterhead and that's if you're sending something out from a company so it may not have the same ramifications if you're sending it on a personal level but it could have the same negative ramifications on the potential of you getting a job and I'll tell you right now people will get discounted from interviews from getting a job and most employers to protect themselves will not tell you why. And it may be as simple as some inappropriate comments, pictures, situations that you've shared um, with friends and such on Facebook that you haven't kept private. And people are very um, oblivious sometimes to their settings. And they don't put their settings to private, to friends only, etc. And it's really open to, to the public. Yeah.